If you're looking to seriously take your shop to the next level, a plasma table is going to be a damn good way to do so. This right here is the Eastwood Elite CNC 4x4 plasma table. Now, plasma tables like this are expensive, but this specific table is going to be a great deal for any true hobbyist or someone that's looking to do small production runs because, number one, you're not paying a relatively ridiculous amount, 16, 18, 20,000, like you would with some tables out there. This table is going to cost less than half of that. Two, included in that price is that right down there, the Eastwood Elite CNC Cut 60 Plasma Cutter. Not all tables even include a cutter, so that's a $1,600 value you're getting with the Eastwood Plasma. Also, it comes with a hand torch, so you can use this like a typical plasma cutter as well. Three, you're getting a table that's a little generous on the dimensions, so you can cut a true 4x4 area. And four, you get a controller with its own integrated operating system, built-in library of 50 shapes as well, some of which make for perfect brackets, tabs, and gussets, so there's no need to plug in a laptop or put together a PC to work your plasma table. You can do arrays, you can mirror, and you can scale right in the built-in controller. Of course, you can upload your own designs as well. Right here is the USB port so that you can take a .cnc file from a program like Fusion 360, which is what we like to use, and upload it right to the machine. So let's dive into one of the coolest new products that Eastwood has offered in a long, long time. Now, we do have some more detailed videos about this system coming, but for now, let's go over some of the really basic controls. The CNC cut controller has a 7-inch color LCD and 45 keys for all the controls that you'll need to operate this thing. So let's take a look at the main screen. Starting over here from the top left, you have your software version. Next to that, the torch speed in either millimeters per minute or inches per minute. Then you have your current loaded file right here. Then in the next box, you'll have the status in the machine. You can see that it stopped right now, but that can also say starting or cutting. This is the current line segment over here and the cut hole number. Below that, you have your mode indicators. And in this box down here, you have your current cut speed, manual speed, and kerf width settings. Then you have all your movement and your cut modes in that box right below that. And you can see all of those options have quick access keys as well. Uh, this is the current X and Y axis relative to your zero point. You can see that move around when I press the arrow keys down in the bottom right. And next to that, you have your pierce number and length and some timers for that as well. Down at the bottom, you have all your quick access menus. You can quickly get those if you need them. And in this big box over here at the left, obviously we have our top-down table view. And of course, in this system, you could do your arrays, you could do your mirroring, and you could do your scaling as well. And we're gonna have some more detailed videos coming about this system, so keep an eye out for those as well. But for now, let's see what a cut looks like. So what is it that makes this machine great? First off, you can cut a true four foot by four foot area. The gantry travel is a little bit generous at 4.1 feet in both the X and Y axis. The waterbed is also a little bit generous at 4.9 feet in the X and five and a quarter feet in the Y. So there's some extra room in all directions. Importantly, you can also put a four foot by eight foot or a four foot by 10 foot sheet in this machine. You just have to support the overhang a little bit, but that's no big deal. And there's even some rollers on the edges of the waterbed to make feeding those larger sheets a little bit easier. Buy your sheet, throw it in and get to cutting, no trimming required. Overall dimensions for this machine are gonna be about six and a half by seven feet, which is actually pretty nice and slim for a machine with this cutting area. That measurement also includes the controller as well. Also, down the bottom there, you're getting some really sturdy four inch by four inch legs to make sure that this machine stays rock solid when you're cutting. Secondly, let's talk about the assembly and any potential leaks. The waterbed is welded together as part of the whole frame, one big piece, so there's no bolts to hold the waterbed together and no silicone to seal it. All good to go right from the start. And we perform a leak down test before we ship these out, just to make sure you're gonna have no issues once you start dumping your additive in. 
Now, the fact that this comes all as one plays into the assembly because there's really not much assembly to do at all. This will arrive in a very large crate on a flatbed. All you have to do is attach the four legs, get your air, plasma, and electrical connections going, fill up the water bed, and just like that, you're pretty much ready to cut. The gantry rails are already connected right in the crate, and so is the controller. Everything's already wired and ready to go. No crazy assembly before you're up and running. Thirdly, let's talk about what you get and what you'll need and what the specs are of this machine. Included in the price, like I said, is that Elite 60 CNC plasma cutter. $1,600 plasma cutter. It'll easily cut through material anywhere as thin as 18 gauge and up to 3 eighths of an inch thick. That plasma cutter is a $1,600 value that just comes included in the price. And I'll tell you what really bugs me about our competitors is that you see one price on their website, but where they really get you is all the add-ons, like several thousand dollars for a plasma cutter, a couple hundred dollars for a CNC controller interface, a laptop. Not like that with Eastwood. With us, the price you see is the price you get. Everything is going to come included for you. Now, we do give you all the big things, but you're going to need some basics as well. You're going to need a compressor, for one. This machine is going to require 5 to 7 CFM at 60 PSI, and that's really nothing crazy. This machine isn't a heavy breather. We also recommend a good moisture filter because, like any plasma cutter, you want your air going through to be nice and dry, as dry as possible. So a moisture filter is going to be another thing I'd recommend. You're also going to need a 240 volt power outlet. This machine likes a 50 amp breaker. And lastly, some plasma cutting fluid additive. And you know, whatever software you decide to get your files onto a flash drive with, SolidWorks, Fusion 360, whatever. But really, compressor, moisture filter, 240 volt outlet, and some plasma cutting additive, and some software, and that's really it. Pretty standard stuff with this machine. Warranty, let's talk about the warranty. It's three years. You're not going to have that much trouble, right? It's not going to leak. And also, the X and Y axis do have some Hall Effect limit switches, so you can't accidentally overrun the machine and hurt it. And it's pretty stout. We've done a lot of testing with the prototype, and we've been working on launching this bad boy for a long time. We've had one of these in the studio for a while now. We've shown it off at shows and stuff. And we really put it through the ringer. It's still working great. So how's it going to work if something does break? The good thing is, we're not going to have you ship your table back for warranty work. We're going to send you the replacement parts with an installation guide for you to fix. And of course, you can always give us a call if you need more help. Press the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MiG-180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also, make sure you check out our channel as well. We have some great how-to content over there, including some awesome content with this plasma cutter that you're definitely going to want to see. Thanks for watching. I'm JD. Keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.